the best two guard in the draft on the fact that he shoot better than anybody in the draft. Jello, give you a solid 30. In an interview with GQ Magazine, LeVar Ball said he does not think his middle son, Langelo, will make it to the NBA. LeVar saying, I told my boys one of them wasn't going to make it because if you've got three, only one, maybe two, is making it to the NBA. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Middle children have trouble feeling equal to their siblings in parental relationships. The older sibling often holds more responsibilities and the younger sibling is well taken care of by the parents, leaving the middle child not getting much attention as the others. He is the middle son about a year younger than Lonzo and two years older than LaMelo. Middle children generally don't feel like they are the favorite child of the family. Favoritism may exist for the older child who is viewed as special or for the youngest child who is viewed as the baby. The middle child falls somewhere in between and is unable to be the favorite of either parent. Middle child syndrome is a popular term to describe how being a middle child shapes one personality and outlook in life. Some believe that the middle child is often ignored or neglect, which can have a negative effect going into adulthood. I like to start off by saying sorry. Uh, I didn't exercise my best judgment and I was wrong for that. I apologize to my family, my coaches, my teammates, and UCLA for letting so many people down. Leangelo Robert Ball was born November 24th, 1998, was raised in the suburbs of California to LeVar and Tina Ball. Both his parents were student athletes at Cal State Los Angeles. Tina was a basketball player. LeVar played ball as well, but went on to play in the NFL. He signed as a free agent with the Jets and also found himself on the Panthers roster as well. Jello began playing basketball at the age four playing alongside his brothers on the Big Ballers VXT, an AAU team created by their father. He often played basketball against older opponents, facing teams of fourth and fifth graders while he was just in the first or second grade. They're built for this, says LeVar. Leangelo attended Chino Hills High School and became part of the team in the 2013 and 2014 season under the leadership of coach Steve Beck. He began his freshman year as part of the starting lineup alongside his brother Lonzo, who was a sophomore at the time. The brothers received media attention with the Los Angeles Times, calling them quite a duo. Definitely just a pure score. He can post up, he can shoot the three, he can go off the dribble. So anytime you need a bucket, you can just give him the ball and get out the way. He's capable of hitting 10 threes. You know, now we have him in the post and we want to continue to refine his skills and, you know, become more of a slasher, playmaker. Jello contributed to Chino Hills reaching their first ever CIF Southern Selection Open Divisional Championship game, but they fell in overtime to Centennial High School at the regional final. As a sophomore, his cousin Andre Ball joined him in Zoe. At the beginning of his sophomore season, Jello suffered a foot injury, which put him out until June that year. When he returned, he did so with a bang. His first game back, he dropped 30 points. As the season neared its end, a severe ankle pain put him on the sidelines for the next four games. He eventually returned to play in the playoffs. Ball scored 23 points, including a game-tying three-pointer in the state divisional championship game. But Chino Hills lost the match in double overtime to San Ramon Valley High School. After the season ended, he verbally committed to UCLA and was the first verbal commit of the 2017 class. In his junior season, Jello was now playing with both his brothers, Lonzo and Melo. That season, he averaged 27 points per game, which led his team. Chino finished 35-0 and, and was named national champion, and the brothers received the honors of perhaps the best brother act in high school basketball history. The game is just a lot easier, you know, when you get to play with people you live with. I told people, when my boys finish playing ball over here, as soon as you say Chino Hills, the first thing going to come out their mouth is ball brothers. And now it's happening and they're shocked. I'll just walk around smiling. With Zoe off to college and now as a senior, it was his turn to run a ship. Senior season, he scored a career high, 72 points with 13 three-pointers, the 10th most points scored in a single game in California high school history. 
Just days later, he registered 52 points and 10 three-pointers. His team fell in the divisional semifinals to Bishop Montgomery. After a 30-3 season, he was named All-Area Player of the Year. He was also a first-team All-State and honorable mention All-American selection. He averaged 33 points per game, leading the state of California in scoring. While he had great success at Chino Hills, he was generally regarded as an unheralded prospect and received a rating of only three stars in high school. But Jello then eventually signed a letter of intent with UCLA on November 2nd, 2016. Everything was going as planned for Jello. The future was bright. Things were looking great. LaVar's planning was going accordingly to schedule, but then. We all went out one night, uh, went through the malls, went through, went to the Louis Vuitton store, and uh, he's, people started taking stuff, and then, you know, me just not thinking and being with him, I took something too. And we left thinking we'd just get away, and sure enough, the next morning, the, the police came and got us. FBI, open up! You're so dumb. You are really dumb, for real. Facing a potential fine and up to 10 years in prison, they were eventually brought back to the U.S. after the American government stepped in. Did you steal the glasses? America. Are you, you steal the glasses? Mark, Everyone's trying to say you steal the glasses. Hey, Angelo, is it true? Did you steal the glasses? The White House Chief of Staff, John F. Kelly, told reporters that it was due to the efforts of Donald Trump that LiAngelo and the others could return to the U.S. Unfortunate. Uh, you know, you're talking about very long prison sentences. They later held a press conference where they will admit that they indeed stole from China and thank Trump for bringing them back home. I'd also like to thank President Trump and the United States government for the help that they provided as well. My family raised me better than that, and I'm going to make myself a better person from here on out. Following the incident, UCLA suspended him indefinitely. In December, he announced that he planned to withdraw from UCLA. LaVar had grown frustration over the length of the suspension. And as you just mentioned, LaVar Ball has indeed pulled his son, LiAngelo Ball, out of the UCLA program and out of school, and he will, as he says, get him ready now for the upcoming NBA draft. I'm going to get Jello in shape. I'm going to work him out. We're going to do some other things, and he's going to be headed to the NBA. All these boys are going to get on the Lakers. Watch how I do this. All these boys are going to get on the Lakers. Watch how I do this. Had he just stayed in UCLA, he would just have remained suspended for just the rest of that season. The smarter move would have been just to stay and just wait that year out. But what's done is done. And once LeVar makes his claim, there's no way around it. December 11th, 2017, he signed with a team in Lithuania, along with his younger brother Melo, who left Chino Hills before his junior season. February 11th, 2018, he made his starting debut, recording 13 points. A month later, in March, he announced that he would enter the 2018 NBA Draft. Well, I'm just going to be excited to play on any NBA team, really. I mean... Whoever picks me up, I'm going to play my hardest for them and try to bring wins to the team. Even though most analysts believe that he had a long shot of being selected. Of the NBA, if he took the bottom, he went to Sacramento, Orlando, all those players. He couldn't make that team. Folks who watch the NBA and cover the NBA, they talked about Lonzo, but it was an entirely different and elevated light than the way they talked about his two little brothers. They don't consider them on the same level as Lonzo. He is not good at all. He's awful. <laughs> He's just awful. Awful. <laughs> then there was the Big Baller Brand International Tournament, which set Vitadas up to play against international teens. It was crazy that the day LiAngelo declared for the draft, his team would play against the Guandog Southern Tigers. The Tigers' starting point guard stood 5'10", and he only recorded stats for an under-17U World Cup, showed average 4 points on 27% shooting. LiAngelo was playing against a JV high school team when he went off for 72 points so he could make headlines. By the end of the game, it looked like runs at the YMCA. Both sides were exhausted and stopped trying. 
LaVar's smart setup was to get LiAngelo's exposure. NBA scouts and viewers laughed off any notion that he was a prospect on anyone's radar. Playing against C-level talent. Right. Well, not even, not even, not even Big East talent, not even ACC right. talent. Right. Fair enough. So, as a scout, if I go watch that, how does that translate to playing against a Russell Westbrook, a Damian Lillard, right. a Kimber Walker, you just go down the list. But LeVar was doing his best to get Jello's name circulating around the NBA scouts. Jello will finish that season averaging 12 points, 2 rebounds per game, shooting 41% from the three-point line. What do you say to those who doubt you? Nothing. They can keep down me. I mean, nothing really bother me. Anybody can say what they want. I know what I'm about, so I just keep playing my own way. He couldn't make that team. He is not good at all. He's awful. <laughs> He's just awful. Oh, yeah. He was not selected in a 2018 draft. George King. That's the game. This guy started touching base with everybody about Summer League. That's the first thing now. The Lakers is doing their Summer League right now. Like, as soon as the last pick goes. All these boys are going to get on the Lakers. Watch how I do this. Why the fuck you lying? So what did he do? He signed with the Los Angeles Ballers of the JBA, a league funded by his father as an alternate to college basketball. He joined in the middle of the season and made his debut on July 14th, tallying 53 points, 10 rebounds, and 10 assists. In his first playoff game, he scored a season high 58 points. At the end of the season, he was among 14 players in the league named to the JBA USA Select Team, which went up against several European teams on a international tour. Jello had many NBA tryouts, but just couldn't find a home. On March 9th, 2020, he signed with the Oklahoma City Blue. They played just one game, but Jello did not play it before the remainder of the season was canceled due to coronavirus. It's not a surprise. Jello is an elite scorer and could contribute well to an NBA team. But why is he not in the same light as his brothers? Before it's all said and done, hopefully he does find himself on the roster and the Ball brothers can all be playing on the same level again. A billion to one shot that you're going to have all three of your sons on the same NBA team. Are you going to speak it into existence? I'm going to speak or? it. Oh, it's going to happen. All right. It's going to happen. And like I said, if, they, if the Lakers don't do, well, you know, the, the right thing in due time, whoever takes my three boys, that's where they're going. <laughs>